The fires in Canada are widespread across the country and they are not easy to reach. Most are in sparsely populated areas. Meteorologist Michael Barron spoke with a Canadian agency coordinating the fight to douse those flames. He joins us now with Michael. What are you? What are they telling you? What have you learned? Yeah, they've been working uh, hundreds of fires across Canada, Juliet. Usually the fire season comes in waves. This year it's coming all at once. I want you to take a look at this map here. This shows all of the active fires right now in Canada. 476, three new today. Every one of these that you see here in the red, those are fires that are rated as out of control. We'll zoom in here to Quebec. These fires that you see around Quebec, specifically up here near the Hudson Bay. These are what caused our smoke to degrade yesterday, or our air quality to degrade as smoke came down into the United States. Now, as far as what Canada is doing to fight these fires, earlier today I spoke with Jennifer Kamau. She's with the uh, firefighting agency, the interagency organization in Canada that coordinates their resources and here's what she told me about their efforts. So as of this morning there were 482 active fires across the country and about 8.2 million hectares burnt. We've requested international help because um, as I mentioned earlier all the resources or most of the resources in Canada have been put to use which means that every province and territory is using their own resources. So currently internationally we have 1550 firefighters who have been deployed are fighting these fires, but of course there's a lot to fight and it's causing a lot of impacts well beyond northern Canada with that smoke impacting the United States and the lower man mainland of Canada alike. Some of that smoke has created some alarming smells for our viewers here in West Michigan. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, we're working with local agencies to find out what those smells are and if you should be concerned.